Hey everyone, today I'm going to show off a small little utility I made for automatically generating Beat Saber maps really, really quickly. So there's a few requirements before getting started. First of all, you need to have the Julia language installed. Uh, here's the downloads page. I'll link it in the description. It's pretty straightforward. You got Windows, Mac, Linux, you know how to download stuff. Same deal for FFmpeg, all the different operating systems. You might actually already have this one installed in the terminal. You can check by doing FFmpeg dash version. If this spits out a result you haven't installed, you're good to go. Uh, last but not least, you need to have the uh, a few specific Julia packages installed, which would be Wave, JSON, DSP, and Statspace. Adding packages in Julia is really easy. Once you have Julia installed, you just type in Julia to go into the REPL. You have to hit the right closing bracket, uh, the closing square bracket, and then you have to uh, just do add the different packages like that. That's not going to do anything for my system because I already have those installed, but for yours, it would set it all up. So with that out of the way, we can go ahead and clone the repository. Or you can download a zip, but I'm just going to clone it. So we can take a look inside of this and see what we find. It's pretty simple. There's hardly any files. The file we're interested in is map songs. That's the utility that we can use. So to use it, straightforward, we just go to beatsaber.jl slash src slash map songs, and then we need to pick a song. So I'll go songs slash pokerface, the classic. And we're gonna let that run. Actually, first of all, I'm going to add the time command to the front of it, just so we can see how long this takes to run. Now, pokerface is about a five minute long song, so this will be a good test experiment. So the great thing about this utility is that it runs in on time on the CPU. And from the testing I've done, it seems to run it takes about one minute of processing to go through 20 minutes worth of audio on average. Sometimes it's a bit faster, sometimes it's a bit slower. It might be a bit slower now because I'm also recording, but that means basically you can get through an entire hour worth of audio processing in three minutes. See, we already finished, that took 26 seconds. So whatever that is, five minutes divided by 26 seconds, that's pretty fast, I'd say, that's a good deal. And over here we have the finished Beat Saber map. This is a fully functioning Beat Saber map. It's got three files in it. It's the info.app file, which basically uh, all the different variables for the Beat Saber map. It's an expert plus map. Uh, you can see the name, so on and so forth. You can edit these if you want. Song author name, Weird Al. You've got the actual map file. This is pretty big, so I'm not going to open it. And then the song itself, which is an AUG file renamed to an egg file for some reason. <laughs> Not sure why, but that's how BeatSaber works. We can also do multiple songs at once. So if we go back over to this thing, we can do, instead of just poke a face, we can do every mp3 file in this directory. Just putting a wildcard, and I think there's three mp3 files, so that'll do all three of them all at once. And I actually ran an experiment earlier. I downloaded this playlist, which contains over 40 songs, which is over three hours long. And I want to see how long this would take to map. So I see I downloaded it using YouTube DL as WAV files. And to process it, to turn every single one of those songs into Beat Saber maps took less than eight minutes. Over here, we can actually see the maps themselves. Here are the songs and here are all the finished maps. So once you have a finished map, uh, why don't we just grab a few of these? So we'll just take maybe five to load it into Beat Saber itself. I'm on the quest. You need to copy these, go over to the quest, internal shared storage, BMBF data. You can see the custom songs folder here. And we're just going to want to paste into that. That's going to copy over. Uh, should be pretty rapid. Yep, all done. And then we can unmount this and get into the VR itself. All right, well, I uh, was going to show you how the BMBF works in the VR machine, but I ran into a bit of an issue, which is that you apparently can't record custom apps. So instead, I'm going to use my excellent illustration skills to show you how to do it here. So you're going to load up the BMBF app in the Quest, and over here, there's gonna be a bunch of tabs. You're gonna to wanna to click the rightmost tab called Tools, and that will open up this menu with a bunch of buttons at the bottom. The second most button to the left is called Reload Songs Folder. 
you're going to want to click that and that's going to open up this button up here called sync to beat saber you're going to click that it's going to change to start beat saber once it's finished and you can start beat saber and you should be good to go with your new songs successfully in beat saber uh, there are a few problems you might run into sometimes uh, i mean the whole uh, beat saber ecosystem is a bit shaky what with the side loading and all that so sometimes i've had to quit bmbf and restart it or click the reload songs folder multiple times uh so if at first you don't succeed you might you know might want to try again there's another problem with some songs have problems with special characters so if we go over here the songs i ch happen to choose uh to load in didn't have any special characters but for example this one is called wave dash dot ppt dot wave that could easily cause problems so before you run the uh the julia utility to convert this to a map you might want to rename this to just wave dash uh, this one too, uh, instead of these special characters, you might want to just replace them with normal letters. But other than that, uh, it should be good to go and you should be ready to jump into Beat Saber. Alright, so we're inside the app now and we've got the five songs we loaded in. So I'm just gonna start one up and see what it looks like. Now, these maps aren't the best. I wouldn't say they're bad, but they are weird. Uh, there's decisions that no person would make. It's pretty clear they're made by a machine, but they are playable And I think they're pretty fun to play. They're decently fun at least uh, Considering how quickly you can make them and the good thing is that even if you end up with a bad map You can always just make another one because they're so fast And if you make 40 of them at once like I did you're bound to get at least a few good ones in there And I think this map looks you know, it looks all right It's uh, it's funky, but it's acceptable the uh, it flows decently well. There's an issue with blocks coming right at your face. Uh, there's a lot of side diagonal movements, hits which are weird, but overall I'm happy with it and I think it's an acceptable level of mapping. In the description of this video I'll also link a zip file containing all of the maps generated in this video. If you want to play around with those, I also recommend trying to get the utility working for yourself and see if you can uh, make any use out of it. Thanks for watching, and leave me your feedback.